Alright, so she's finally here in the time where healers are actually being useful in the abyss. Kokomi is out now. Uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to build her as a main DPS kind of or a main carry or of like a more of a support build where you focus on healing your teammates better and buffing them or whatever. So how are you gonna use Kokomi guys is that um, inside of her elemental burst you just want to auto attack and then after her elemental burst ends in that case you can switch characters. If you want to use her more of like a focused dps then you'd want to stay obviously um all of the duration in her elemental burst like make sure you auto attack in every single second if you want to use her more of like a support or something like that you can just auto attack a little bit and then leave the elemental burst her elemental skill is just going to be doing off field damage and healing so it's always going to be there in any like build or use so yeah um what i'm trying to say is that kokomi is used in kind of like the same way in all of the builds and all of the roles there isn't really many any ways you can use Kokomi in general so yeah it's just one way and you just change her build and that changes her role so uh, mainly the main way you'd want to use Kokomi is that get inside her elemental burst auto attack and then leave if you want to use her as a DPS auto attack until the burst ends if you want to use her as just like a support auto attack until like you heal the rest of your team or whatever and then you can leave or if you want to spend the whole time auto attacking then that's viable too Alright, so starting off with your constellations, I'm just going to explain them very quick. I'm not going to go over them, I'm just going to tell you what they do and are they worth it or not. So the first constellation is just more damage, you know, it's going to release a fish that deals 30% of your max HP as damage. To say the least, this is a huge damage boost and I will recommend that over her weapon. So yeah, the first constellation is definitely a pretty good constellation. Um, The second constellation is just more healing, I honestly wouldn't really recommend that. I think Kokomi already heals enough. Even at C0, she's already healing enough. So I honestly I wouldn't really recommend the second constellation. Um, C3 is just gonna increase the level of your burst as any other character. Honestly, it's pretty good on Kokomi since her burst is gonna allow you to have more heals and also more damage. So yeah, it might be good. Um, but would I really recommend you to go for it? No. Um, the fourth constellation is just some um, more DPS, like damage per second, and also more energy. That's gonna increase your attack speed and it's gonna um like restore a lot of your energy pretty cool constellation but i don't really think it's that necessary c5 is just gonna increase your elemental skills level and um, finally c6 is just a huge damage boost it's gonna give you 40 percent hydro damage bonus which is just huge but the thing is that c6 it's pretty expensive i honestly i don't think it's worth it so bottom line is i think um if you want to go after some of her constellations maybe go for c1 and that's it if you want to go a little bit deeper you can go to c3 or maybe even c4 Alright, so now for her talent priorities, as I said before, there are like generally two main uses for Kokomi, either as like a main DPS or like a character who does damage, or either as like a support, a character who's more of like a healer and does damage. Um, for both builds, honestly, I would say just make sure you upgrade um, all of her talents, like almost equally, because almost all of her talents are going to be doing damage and healing, so yeah, you don't want to leave any of them out. But if we're talking about like a small priority, I would say this. If you want to use her more of like a DPS, you want to upgrade her auto attacks first and then her elemental burst and finally her elemental skill. If you want to use her more of like a healer slash support sub DPS, you'd want to upgrade her elemental burst first and then your elemental skill and finally your auto attacks. But as I said before, make sure you um, keep them close. Don't leave like more than two levels between each talent. I think a difference of two levels is just the maximum you'd want to prioritize and then you'd want to like upgrade the rest of your talent. Alright, so now we're moving her weapons. Um, obviously her best weapon, both for a healer and DPS build, is just gonna be the Everlasting Moonglow. That's just her weapon, it's tailor-made for her, so yeah, it's obviously gonna be her best weapon, so if you have it, you can use it. Um, now, for the other 5 stars, I think her best 5 star weapon is probably gonna be the Skyward Atlas. Um, it's just gonna give you more damage, so yeah, that's a pretty good weapon. Um, the healing, it's not really gonna help you by much, but I don't think you should, like, focus on building her as a healer even if you build her as like a main dps she's just gonna be doing enough heals so yeah i think the skyward atlas is a very good weapon um her next best weapon is probably the memory of dust oh obviously make sure you're shielded to do the maximum damage with this weapon i don't think that's gonna be the case with a lot of teams with kokomi we're gonna talk about it more in a little bit but um like, like yeah she's a healer you don't want to like have a healer and a shielder in the team usually but if you can have a shielder on your team the memory of dust is gonna be very good 
good. The worst five star for her, in my opinion, is gonna be the last prayer. That's mainly because of the crit rate substat. Kokomi cannot crit, or technically she cannot crit. I mean, if you want to build more than 100%, she can, but like that's not ideal. So yeah, the crit rate substat is just gonna be wasted. The passive is just gonna be pretty good. Then also the base attack is gonna be good. So the weapon is not like bad or anything, but mainly the substat ruins this weapon for Kokomi. Um, now for the four star options, as I said before, she doesn't crit. So all of the crit rate and crit damage weapons are gonna be left out. I think her best four star weapon overall for um, damage is just gonna be the Mapa Mare. It's just gonna give her way more um, elemental damage bonus, which is pretty good. And it's also gonna increase her elemental mastery, which isn't really that necessary on Kokomi. She's probably gonna be applying Hydro pretty fast for her to like um, vaporize or do anything. But generally elemental mastery is not bad. Your next best option is probably gonna be the prototype amber it's it has like an hp substat which is pretty good it's both gonna increase your damage and healing and it's also gonna help you with energy so yeah that's pretty good favonius codex can be usable too um because it increases your um energy recharge so that's pretty decent on kokomi eye of perception can be usable too it's just gonna increase your attack which isn't really that great but it's also usable on kokomi you can also use the hakushin ring but that's only in electro charged teams if you're not using a electro character on your team or like a electro charge team in general that weapon is not going to be viable but for electro charge teams that weapon is probably going to be the best four star option your best um three star option is probably going to be the thrill and tails so yeah if you don't have any of those weapons you can use it Alright, so now we're moving our artifact sets. So if you want to do damage with Kokomi, then your best option is probably going to be the 4-piece um, Heart of Depth. That's going to result in the most damage probably. So yeah, if your like, main priority is just damage, then the 4-piece Heart of Depth is probably going to be better. You can also use a 2-piece Heart of Depth and 2-piece um, Maiden. That's going to be a viable option too. It's going to give you like close damage to the 4-piece Heart of Depth, but it's also going to increase your healing. So that's pretty good. Um, a less recommended option is like a two-piece Shimenoiz and a two-piece Gladiator and then a two-piece Heart of Depth. Kokomi doesn't really scale that well with attack so that's not really like a very good option in my opinion but if you have like good substats on them you can use these sets too. You can also use a two-piece um, Tenacity of the Millet and a two-piece Heart of Depth. Tenacity of the Millet is gonna give you HP which can increase both your healing and damage and then um, two-piece Heart of Depth is just gonna increase your damage. So that's a pretty good and balanced set combination. Probably the two-piece Heart of Depth two-piece Maiden is better, but that's also viable. Now, if you want to focus more on her um, healing, obviously the four-piece Maiden is going to be the best option. That's going to give you the most healing in any other set. So yeah, that's a pretty good option for healing. Honestly, I wouldn't really recommend that. I think she heals enough even without the four-piece Maiden. But if you just want to use her as a healer, then you can go for the four-piece Maiden. Another good option is a two-piece Maiden and a two-piece Tenacity of the Millilith. Two-piece Tenacity of the Millilith, as I said before, is going to increase both your healing and damage so that's pretty good and more balanced so yeah if you want to focus more on our healing but want to do some damage i would say the two piece maiden two piece tenacity is a very good option another like pure support option is just going to be a four piece tenacity of the middle she can proc the four piece effect easily with her elemental skill so yeah that's going to be very good if you want to boost the rest of your team and you want to like increase their attack that's going to be a very good option also as i said before you're going to benefit from the two piece that's going to give you more damage and healing so yeah these are generally the sets you'd want to use on kokomi there are some other sets but these are like mainly the sets you'd want to use all right so now moving our artifact stats for the main stats, you'd want to use HP% percent on your Sands, then Hydro Damage bonus in your Goblet, then Healing bonus on your Circlet. As I said before, she doesn't crit, so Healing bonus is going to be the best option on your Circlet. And um, yeah, these are generally her best main stats. Like, you can use some things, like for example, Attack% percent Sands, then HP um, Goblet and stuff like that. These can work in some situations, but generally speaking, the best stat combination is just going to be this. HP, Hydro Damage, and then Healing bonus. Now for the substats um your main priority is obviously going to be hp you'd want to get both hp percent and flat hp as much as possible then you'd want to prioritize some energy recharge to make sure you have like a good uptime on her elemental burst and then finally some elemental mastery is going to be good on some teams too 
All right, so now we'll move on to her team comps. So for her team comps, she's fairly versatile. She's not really like that tight in team comps. You can build a lot of teams on her and she technically can fit in a lot of teams, but I'm just gonna give you guys some teams that like can be the best teams that you can use on her. So the first way you can use her is like a, as a support or as a healer and hydro enabler in like a freeze comp. For example, you have Ayaka as a main DPS, then Kokomi as a hydro enabler and also as a healer. She can also be used as a sub DPS that's also viable and then you'd want to have a second cryo battery for Ayaka for example Diona and then for the last team member you'd want to have like Sucrose, Bennett, Jean Lee or whatever. The second way you can use her is as a hydro enabler in a um, like vaporized team. For example we can use her instead of Xing Shou in the national team kind of. So we're gonna have Shang Ling as a main DPS and main carry. Then we're gonna have Kokomi as a sub DPS kind of and also as a hydro enabler. Enabler. We're gonna have Bennett as a team buffer and then for example like Sucrose for resistance shred or Kazuha or Jean Lee or whatever. Another team you can use her in is a electro charge team. That's gonna be Kokomi as a main DPS. For example, you can use Kokomi and then Beido as a electro enabler. Then we're gonna add the uh, for example like Fischl or Raiden Shogun and then we can add Bennett, Sucrose, Jean Lee or whatever. That's also gonna be a very good team especially for DPS Kokomi so yeah. Alright, so that was the video guys. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you got any other ideas or you want me to do any other videos, tell me in the comments. Or if you have any other questions, tell me in the comments too. And see y'all in the next video. Peace.